What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I'm going to bring you Tilt Brush by Google. Now this application, you can get it on PlayStation, but one of the other platforms you can get it on is also Windows 10. So let's take a look and see how it works and see if that's an option for creatives out there that want to create in a 3D space similar to Paint 3D. All right, so here it is. This is Tilt Brush. So when you first come in, it just teaches you the basics on how to use the program. It tells you that using this right thumbstick here allows you to draw. In fact, if I actually select the color, it will allow me to draw whatever I want. So, you know, I can draw things like that. And then another thing it tells me is to use the left thumbstick to select different options here. So for instance, if I want to draw rainbows, I can draw rainbows. If I want to draw light, I can draw light, so you see the rainbow kind of changes. But if I want to draw light, I can actually draw like light. So it's it's a cool, interesting thing that you can use uh, with it. And if you hold it down, and the little menu goes away, and you can kind of see. Now I have maybe I don't know. I have maybe like three feet around me, not around me, but just in this walking space. My bed is like right there, so I can't move too much. But you can literally see. You know, you can literally see behind your drawings and everything like that. You can interact with them. Uh, if I want to see this or move it around and things like that, I can do that. If I want to make my paint cursor thick, you see when I draw, it's really big. Just like that. If I want it to be a lot smaller, I can adjust that. Maybe drag it there. So you can see right there, I didn't attach it. So if I want to do, it's it's just a really overall a really cool thing now going with these hand menus here so the right stick when you put your thumb down all you see you have there is you have the different sizes of the brush so you can put the right stick to the left and it shrinks the size so you can see how fine it is whereas if you make it bigger it makes it much thicker so you can see the differences between that one and that one right there and then if i want to get rid of things i use my left thumb stick here and then I can pick, say, the eraser there, or if you have the straight edge, you can pull out the straight edge. You have the environment, which just lets you change the environment between like night sky. Say if you look around, you can see the night sky. Um, go back to environment, you can go to outer space. So you can see like, it looks like you're in just outer space. Back to environment, if I wanna change the dress form to dress form. So let's say you wanna design an outfit for somebody. You can design for a dress and things like that. And then going back as well, going back to this, so you can choose pedestal. So you can choose to make it like a pedestal. So let's say, let's say I remove everything here. I'm going to remove, remove, remove. There you go. Let's say I want to create something that's going to be on the pedestal. I can pick just like that, and then I can change the color and change the size. And then you saw right here, I can change the different types here, way different types. So if I want duct tape, paper, um, smoke embers fire so let's say i want fire so let's say i want fire and i want fire to come up so you can see just like that the fire is actually coming up so let's say i want to change the color of the fire i want to create a fire that's kind of you know it's kind of free flowing fire doesn't flow like this fire flows like that let's say i want to do that i'm not going to get too close in case i hit the camera but i can create you know, cool effects. If I want to do an orange thing, you know, I can I can pull out different little cool effects of a fire just like that. And just like that already, you are creating in 3D space. I hope I'm in frame. But just like that, you're creating in, in 3D space that you can you can take a look at on all sides. You can even put your face so close to it that it's almost disappearing. Um, let's say I want to erase this thing. You can just erase, erase, erase. Erase, get rid of the little flames. I'm gonna keep those flames up because let's say I wanna keep those flames. Fire is typically that color. And then what I wanna do next is I kinda of wanna change it from not that. I wanna change it to a normal, mm, let's say we're drawing fire. So I wanna change it to actual fire. So let's say I wanna get some flame effects just like that. I gotta curl my wrist up get some flame effects, get it, get it growing. And then let's say I want to change the color so that I can get it a little darker because with fires, typically as you get 
down typically it's a little darker so getting a little darker making it more interesting more interesting let it flow towards me you know this is kind of a proof of concept the fires don't typically float on the ground so i'm going to draw sticks in a second too so let's say this is my fire i can do that so you see the fire is actually moving and then let's get some trailing of it so i can get the sticks there we go. So that's the fire right there. Little, little, you know, little sparks of the flyer, fire. Um, if I want to do sticks, I can just change it with this here. It says audio reactor. You can do music visualization. So, but let's say I'm not going to do music because of copyright, but let's say I want to do the sticks. So I can pick different ones here. Tapered flat, marker, tapered marker, pinched marker, thick paint, ink oil. I want to do, I want to do thick paint so I can do sticks. And then let's look for the color of sticks. Sticks are not that dark. Sticks are like that color. So let's say that. Uh, does that look like a stick? That doesn't look like a stick. We can't have that. Let's make this a lot bigger. It needs to, it needs to really convey us to think that this will be a stick. So, you know, we're making a bonfire. So doing that proof of concept. So you can see how tilt brush can be very interesting to do, to just use for fun uh, in VR space. So you can see right there in VR space, looking around, you can see I maybe I missed a spot. I can put it there. If I want to just put sticks all around here, I can do that. And then there you go. You have a proof of concept of a fire. So Tilt Brush has a lot of features like that. It allows you to do multiple things. You can even hit here. You can add a color to your swatch. Let's say you're going to use this color brown a lot. And let's say because I'm going to be making a lot of fires, let's say I want to set that as a color too. So that way, as soon as I want to, all I have to do, you see, this is my current color right there. But if I want to switch without having to switch between these things, I can just press the color and it changes. So just like that, I can keep adding on and, oh, I want to switch to that. I want to go back to my flame. So just go back to my fire flame. And then just like that, my fire flames are coming through. Let's strengthen the brush just a little bit to make it a little bit more convincing, just like that. So already you can see the kind of effects that you can do with Tilt Brush. Tilt Brush is just, it's a really cool thing. It says looking for audio. Obviously I don't have any audio connected, so it's not going to do that. It says play music with your speaker in order to do audio. I'm not gonna say the words, otherwise, you know what the little assistants will do it so here are embers so here are embers so let's say you want some embers you know there you go because fire has embers so there we go we're going we're getting more embers so now you can see there i've got embers and it's it's pretty cool looking i can do a lot so in this proof of concept for this video I made a fire and Tilt Brush allows you to do little interesting things like that. Um, let's say I want to put some duct tape on the ground. Can create that. Let's say I want to do 3D tic-tac-toe. I can do that. That's not tic-tac-toe at all. Oh, there you go. You didn't see that. Um, going back, eraser, just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, and then go back to the tape. And then there we go. Now you can do 3D tic-tac-toe just like that. So. Tilt Brush for me, being an artist and also obviously a content creator, Tilt Brush is something that, it's a cool thing, but it's a hard thing to show off to people. Tilt Brush, not sure how much it costs. I'll put that on the screen right now when I find out how much it costs in this video. Uh, but it's a really interesting app if you're a creative type and you like to, you like to just draw. If you're a person who just likes to draw and sketch and all that stuff, it's gonna be something that you really enjoy. And like for me, Obviously, I don't use this too much because I don't have space for it, but I downloaded it because I was so curious that I wonder what they have for creatives on Windows computer. And this application supports Windows Mixed Reality. This application supports um, this application supports PlayStation. This application also supports Steam, uh, Oculus, Vive, a bunch of things. So whatever headset you really have, you can use with uh, Tilt Brush. Now I downloaded this off of the Oculus Store but you can get this off of Steam. Like I said, you can get on the PlayStation Store, and I think that's that's the main ones. And then a majority of headsets all support this application. Um, yeah, so final things here. 
Uh, if you look down here, there's different options there too. So if you want to save your sketch, you can save it. It says here, take a picture with the icons. Let me take a picture. There we go. I took a picture and then now it fell to the ground. And then also upload requires sign in settings. So let's take a look at the settings that they have. So you have analytics and anonymous uses data. And then you also have help. You have about opens external browser. You have distance indicator. On the straighters tool, you have your auto simplification, so simplify on load. Uh, you have your brush tip angle, so you can change the tip of your brush by natural feels. You can set here the visual quality, in fact, high performance desktop, and then future desktops. I don't know what future desktops mean. My computer is a high performance one, but I'm going to do future desktops just, just to do it. It says stroke simplification. Does it make the stroke very simple where it just makes it blocky or does it make it just smooth as you move your hand? And then you have your sketch cost. Now you can change your sketch cost if you have that set up, but I don't have that set up. So there's a lot of little things you can do with this whole thing. It says remove headsets if you, I'm not gonna do that. There's a lot of things that you can do and it's just, it's a very just interesting thing to have um, with this application. So let's close out of all this stuff here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a brief introduction to Tilt Brush. I hope I wasn't all over the place, but I hope to do more of these little things, simple things uh, in the future, future videos in between the usual app reviews and the usual product stuff. So take care, everybody.